Hey ladies and gents, assalamu alaikum. This is Jennifer Latifa, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm talking to you about more new Dua fragrances. And also I picked up a couple that are race stock and I'm gonna talk about those ones first. And they are currently in stock still, so I definitely wanted to talk about them because I know that the Dua fragrances are always out of stock, but uh, they're getting them restocked pretty much with every release, trying to restock as many as possible. So set your alarms for 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the sale dates. And it's mostly every weekend. There will be one this weekend coming up. So uh, be ready. There will probably be more releases. Uh, well, there will be more new releases. And um, there will also probably be some more restocks. So, And I also wanted to thank one of my beautiful subscribers. You know who you are for the scarf that I'm wearing. Thank you so much. And I love it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started with the ones first, like I said, that um, have been restocked, that I picked up two of them. And the first one is called, uh, it's inspired by Killian's Apple Brandy, and this one is called Palm Trempe. And it's a oriental woody unisex fragrance with notes of green apple, vanilla, cedar, and brandy. And this is so beautiful, you guys. Honestly, you can wear it all times. You smell all of those notes just mixed so well together. Oh, the cedar and it's a little bit, it's woody and a little juicy. And it smells so, so good. And they've got a lot of mixes with these one, this one as well and I love all the flankers or mixed ones can't really call them a flanker because they mix it with other very good well-known fragrances but I really love apple brandy and so that's why I picked that up once it was restocked the next one I'm going to talk to you about is inspired by Killian straight to heaven and this one is called Nirvana. I honestly can't stop wearing this one right now. I love it so much. Um, I do have a decant of straight to heaven and this one is just like basically spot on but like 10 times more beast and projects way better. And it's just so divine. I really am obsessed with this one right now. Let's talk about notes. And it's a spicy, woody fragrance with notes of white musk, French jasmine, Indonesian patchouli, Virginia cedar, Brazilian rosewood, dark amber, nutmeg, vanilla bourbon absolute, dark aged Caribbean rum, ambergris, and dried fruits. It's so good for the winter time, for the cooler weather. It's just amazing, honestly. Um... I would pick this one up. It's unisex. Um, I would say it leans a tad bit masculine, maybe, but I don't care. It's so good. And, and that's why I'm saying just a tinge masculine, but I love it. Okay, the next two I'm going to talk to you about are um, Dua Original Creations. And the first one is called Duas Vanilla Oud. And this is an oriental vanilla fragrance with notes of vanilla absolute, oud, van uh, coconut flesh, roasted tonka beans, sugar, Madagascan, ylang ylang, and rosewood. And it's so beautiful. This one is so beautiful. Vanilla oud, like, and those notes, too. Mmm. It's a little spicy, creamy, beautiful vanilla. A beautiful original blend. You know that oriental vanillas are my favorite, so I will be wearing this one a lot, and I love it. 
Ugh, so good. Okay. The next one is also an original blend from Dua. And I'm, I'm serious. The original blends are some of the best. So that's why like my favorite is Milady and if that's an original blend. They're just so good. Okay. So this one, like I said, is an original blend and this one is called a spice affair. And this is an oriental spicy fragrance with notes of cardamom, star anise, creamy chai latte, vanilla, floral undertones like violet and carnation, uh, spicy medley from India. It's got an Indi Indian kulfi accord, cloves, and Indian oud. It's so spicy. And this one, honestly, like, it takes you somewhere. Like, it makes me feel like I'm in a spice market. Like it's a, definitely a journey fragrance. Like this isn't just something you wear and go like you could, of course, but I'm saying like it puts your mind in places, you know, and I love those that just can put me somewhere that I'm not, especially while we're not traveling right now, but it's definitely a, be a beautiful, smells like spice market with people wearing oud walking around and it's it's lovely honestly it's really lovely I, I really great job Dua okay the next one is inspired by Christian Dior purple oud and this one is called Ari Jawani oud and I love this bottle with the purple looks so beautiful and it smells really fabulous too this is one of the Dior's that I don't have too so I'm really happy to have this smells like oud obviously and um, this is an oriental woody fragrance with natural oud orange pink peppercorn and saffron so it's a very heavy oud fragrance, but the orange kind of makes it a little bit, okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. So the orange kind of makes it a little bit fruity in the back, but it's very s slightly fruity. It's a fruity, the fruit is coming through more and more as it's drying down and it's really beautiful. Ooh, especially once that fruity note starts to come through. I really love it. The pink peppercorn and the saffron. Ooh, I love that one. I'm gonna wear that in the cool weather for sure. Okay, the next one is inspired by Parfums de Marley Habden. And this one is called Essence of Royalty. This one smells so good. I've already been wearing this one. It's an oriental vanilla fragrance with notes of caramel apple, aquaponics, oud wood, frankincense, saffron, amber accord, and ethyl mitol. Excuse my butchery for that. It smells so good. It smells like caramel apples, right? Dipped into something so expensive. I love it. Super, super love this one. It smells rich and elegant. So good. It's spicy and wow. The cooler weather is going to bring this one out too. I'm so glad Dua was coming out with all these spicy ones right now and the heavy ones with a lot of cardamom and all those different notes that are so good in the winter time or the cooler weather. I really love this one. Okay, the next one is inspired by Guerlain and it's 
It's inspired by Guerlain's Oud Essential, and this one is called Essentials of Oud. And it's an oriental woody fragrance with notes of saffron, natural agarwood, Bulgarian rose, cedar wood, guyac wood, leather accord, and a couple other notes that I don't want to butcher. So it's a masculine fragrance. Yes, it's definitely masculine and spicy. Very oud heavy. It smells really good. This is a beast. The leather is, is strong in it too. And the saffron, it's very spicy oud fragrance for a man. Hmm, it smells good. It really smells good. But uh, and if you don't like oud, I would stay away from this one because it's very oud strong. The next one is inspired by Guerlain's Cure Intense, and this one is Intense Leather. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until they come out with Angelique Noir. He's doing all the Guerlain's. Now, come on, let's go, Angelique. Mmm, this one smells good. And you know I don't like leather. But I really love Guerlain, so, and I feel like Guerlain can really do no, nothing wrong, and I remember even loving the Guerlain one. This is a very good one. Very good. It's got notes of tobacco, sandalwood, osmanthus, musk accord, ylang, ylang and virgin cedar wood, and it's um, also a masculine fragrance. But I think that the woman could get away with wearing this one, even if it is leather. I think it's really pretty, and I think it's going to be very beautiful in the cooler weather. Okay, the next one is inspired by Zerzhov's Yudin Overdose, and this one is called Omen Overload. And this is a woody, spicy fragrance. It's unisex with notes of bergamot lemon, ginger wood, tobacco blossom, musk, and amber accord. It's very fresh. It's got a little bit of a forge feeling, to be honest. But it is spicy. The, the lemon and the bergamot are strong. And it's got like a spicy ginger type of smell. And the tobacco definitely is a good tobacco in this one. And it smells really good. I'll definitely wear that one too. It's beautiful. I think it's going to smell very, very good on a man. I would say it's unisex leaning masculine. But I think it's beautiful. Okay, the next one is inspired by uh, Witty on Liwa, and this one is called Spice from the East. And this is an oriental floral fragrance. It's got jasmine, saffron, bergamot, Amber, white rose, geranium, cedarwood, patchouli, incense, sandalwood, and artemisia. Did I say it wrong? Yes. Jennifer, you say everything wrong. Oh, and I love this one so much. It's such a beautiful, spicy fragrance. I've been wearing this one too. And it... Sorry, it's just totally do odd out in here. I had to smell some clean skin. The saffron is strong and you can smell the jasmine. And the amber smells really good with the incense. The patchouli is also a little bit strong in this one. It's very beautiful. I mean, you definitely feel like you are 
in the Middle East somewhere in the spice market again um, with people, you know, walking around with incense-y, patchouli-heavy fragrances on mixed with the spice market rather than the oud as the other one was. And it smells Okay, it's time for me to get a new ring light because this one just keeps going out even though it's another brand new one. So, sorry about that. So, it's definitely uh, a very beautiful, spicy fragrance. And that one, again, is Spice from the East. And I lost the cap. Okay. The next one... is inspired by Terry Mugler's um, Amen Pure Havana, and this one is called Win in Havana. Whew, this one's so good. I've already been getting some wear out of this one too. Hmm, so good. This reminds me of Morocco, to be honest with you. I smelled this, this is a familiar smell to me. It's an oriental vanilla fragrance. It's masculine, but women can wear this for sure. I'm going to wear it. I don't think it's leaning too masculine, to be honest. And it's got tobacco leaves, honey, tobacco, accord, coffee, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, and bitter co cacao. And this is another journey fragrance that puts you somewhere. If you like those kind of fragrances, definitely take a look at these ones that have come out today because these ones are transporting you somewhere. And I love those kind of fragrances, especially with all this going on, guys. Let's, you know, travel while we're sitting still. <laughs> okay, the next one is inspired by Nikolai Patchouli Intense, and this one is called Extreme Patch. And this is a unisex sheep breath fragrance with patchouli, lavender, geranium, orange, cinnamon, rose, sandalwood, amber, cord, and va vanilla. And uh, I have smelled the original of this before. I was actually going to get it when I had went to Scent Bar before. It's really beautiful. And I love patchouli. So you can smell the lavender mixed with it. And I think it's a really... Um, yeah, I can smell the lavender a lot in this. And the amber and the cinnamon and the sandalwood, and it's very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, the next one is inspired by Joe Malone's English Oak and Red Currants. And this one is called British Red Oak and it's a floral a fruity floral unisex fragrance with red currant rose and oak and this one is beautiful too I've already worn it hmm that oak smells really good this smells unique honestly rose and oak combination is very nice and unique it's nice uh changed from that and you know rose and oud that we smell a lot it smells so good and the rose is like a a real rose like a real red rose it smells very real mixed with oak and the red currant it's just a tiny tinge fruity it's not too fruity to me anyways but i really like this one and it's very unique in my opinion Okay, so the last one I'm going to talk to you about is also inspired by Jo Malone. And this one is inspired by Jo Malone's Oak and Hazelnut. And this one is called Brit British Hazel Oak. And it has notes of, it's a woody, spicy, unisex fragrance with notes of hazelnut, cedar, and oak. These are nice for blending too. As people know that Jo Malone fragrances are like that. Ooh, I remember you now. Mmm. <laughs> that hazelnut is really strong in this. 
it smells like a hazelnut, woody perfume with some cedar in it. And it smells, I love this one. And um, when I had worn this, it was it lasted 10 hours on me. I mean, honestly, these Jo Malone's that do I was redoing, you're getting projection, you're getting the performance that you don't get with Jo Malone. And uh, finally, we have those Jo Malone's that, you know, can last and basically until you wash them off or you change your clothes or whatever. So that'll do it. That was the new releases. Remember, there will be a sale coming this weekend. Uh, they start Saturdays, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, if you have Facebook and you would like to get in the Do Off Fam Facebook group where we share everything, sale, share all the sales coming up, all the new releases and all of that, um, you can be in the in. Please go ahead and message me or email me. Uh, my email link will be below or you can message me on Instagram and uh, I'll try to add you over to the Facebook group. We can add each other on Facebook and yeah, that's it. So... I hope all is well and uh, until the next video, stay blessed.